Afternoon guys. A cold, awesome day, but sunny nonetheless. Keeps having a few showers. Today I'm over in West Yorkshire, starting at the wee village of home, which is just a bit further back that direction. Parked outside the squirrel there. We're gonna head up round these moors onto uh, is it Black Tor? Soldier's Lump, which is the highest point in West Yorkshire, I believe. Apparently, it used to be in Cheshire, but when they changed all the boundaries, it's uh, now in West Yorkshire. So, just approaching a lovely little farmstead, quite a little steep hill that one. I do apologise for not putting any footage on but I've been uh, been working quite a bit so I've not had a chance to get out and as you can see I'm out of breath a wee bit at the moment <laughs> that's what you get for not getting out I've never trekked over this little part before so this should be interesting Beautiful wee farms there. I don't love these buildings over here. This track one I'm on at the moment is called Issues Road and I think it has got a few issues <laughs> it's as bumpy as hell proper uh, leg breaker this one if you're not careful oh I do remember coming up here I did tell a lie me and Phil did a trek we started right over that direction we came up we came onto this it was absolutely bouncing it down that day and we came on here, well, I recognised it a wee bit further back, but yeah we definitely came on here and it looks like it could possibly do the same today. The weather is really clouding over and I've got to get it top of that beauty. Now look at that sky. You can see I'm moss in the distance there, but I'm heading that way. <sighs> Not looking good. I've had to put my hood up. I think the waterproofs are going to have to come on. It's just started to drizzle. We got some blue skies over there, but in front of me, it's that, and I've got to get up to the top of that. Oh, <laughs> at least I've got my waterproofs if I need them. It's just starting to spit. Let's just hope it doesn't bounce it down. Eh? I want some of that blue sky.
trick point here at Black Door. Ah, the highest point in West Yorkshire. Wonderful. As she sits on a plinth of stone. <laughs> a plinth of stone. Ah, oh, help me, darling. Whew. Oh, baby. There you go. I've got all to be sent. How lovely is that? Cold, windy, but bloody gorgeous. 360 for you. And then back to the old lady herself. It's a shame it's not a hot day. Could have my dinner here. But I need to get further down. I'm not carrying on that direction. I'm actually going back the way I've came, that way, and back into the valley, down to uh, Diggle Reservoir, I think it's called. But I'm going to stop here for two minutes. So kidding. So we're down, back down now from uh, Black Hill. I don't know why I kept calling it Black Shore for some reason. <sighs> Probably thinking it were a door, I don't know. But no, Black Hill, we're back to the uh, caution diversion sign. And I came up that direction earlier. But this time we're heading this direction, following it right over towards where the mills are, and then dropping down to where the reservoirs are at the bottom. So that's our next destination. So uh, let's get cracking and let's hopefully I can find somewhere I can get to have me some scran. Hopefully we'll get some better weather. But it's freezing up here. <laughs> Just got to go across that uh, stream and up that side up to our A635. Uh, I think it's called Greenfield Road, but down at the bottom there I'm going to come to soon, and I think I may have my dinner at the bottom of there, to be honest It's Dean Clough That's what that's called A lot calmer here, sun's out Should be nice just to have some scran Just sat around there somewhere Beautiful So we're on the very busy A635 Greenfield Road and it's extremely windy up here. The Pennine Way, I believe, continues up that road. But we're not going up there, we're finished with that now. So that's the Pennine Way done, the bit of it. Uh, so we're just going to go through a style back down to the moors and back down towards Diggle Reservoir I believe this could possibly be one of the highest points <laughs> Wow I'm not kidding It's blustering blistery up here Whatever that means <laughs> 
Oh, Missy Rogers. But we're going over the style. Heading on, so you can see it in distance. Down to that resi at the bottom. The rainbow as well, I don't know if you can see that on camera. So I doubt there'll be a pot to go for me waiting for me at the bottom. <laughs> I doubt that very much. Let's get through. to say no matter where you are on this trail you never have to view of uh, on moss yeah always see it wherever you are now I've gone earlier I've come along that ridge line over there up that big hill right over the tops and back down followed it across down into the ravine where I missed snap back across all the way up to the main road and then sort of double back and then come back down here which is obviously heading me down to our Dresi Vars but it uh, looks like I'm going back down into some woods very soon so uh, I'll catch you when I get to the bottom on Who Wood Lane at the moment looking down onto Bilbury Reservoir. The other side 
he's big big ready for big big ready for Abbott. big Lee sorry well, let me come back to that one Bill Bury Reservoir got a bit of a tragic history a bit like the one at Dale Lake in uh, Sheffield this one burst its banks in 1852 flooding the entire um, home valley which is just down that direction uh, killing 80 people and leaving devastation uh, along its way they put it down to when they built the reservoir they put it down to having substantial contractors to build the damn wall who really didn't know what they were doing and right from its construction they said that the damn wall was leaking but the last in 1852 like I said it burst its banks thousands of gallons of water and it's low today really really low can imagine how high when you're looking at that bank side at the far end how high that could actually get up to and if you look at Digley, I can't say Digley Reservoir in the distance which we're going to come down to shortly you can see how low that is as well
So we're back at the start, back at the school where I started this trail this morning, well this afternoon. Um, but it's supposed to be 8 mile lap. I'd say it was more like 10, it felt like 10. Unless it was just a really long 8 mile. It's absolutely beautiful, you can see the sun's getting onto me now, which is typical. Completely blue skies, which I've not had all day. I mean, it ain't a cloud in that sky now. Apart from looking over back over two hours where I'm heading, which is typical, isn't it? Oh, it's an absolutely beautiful village. Um, it's very old. And uh, it's absolutely fantastic. If you've never been, I suggest you come on it. You come over here, Tom Firth, on this part of West York. She's absolutely stunning. So, from me, till I see you next time. I'll leave this video with you. Jay Hart, keep trekking and trek on. Catch you next one. Look at that sky. Can you believe that?